Okay, so um, I'm doing this video because I have two parts to it. There's a good and a bad. And we're going to go ahead and start with the bad. I've been ordering from HairSisters.com for about four or five years now, along with a lot of you. Um, I want to say within the last year, things have really gone downhill with that company. I'm not sure if they've got new people. I'm not sure what's going on. And frankly, to be honest with you, I really don't care. All I know is that whoever is running that company and whoever works there, they're all idiots. I can't candy coat it. I'm not going to sit and be nice. And I'm not mad either. See, I'm smiling. Ding. I'm smiling. Um, but there are some serious idiots over there. Um, you place orders. They cannot... F they place... Okay, this is what makes me mad. Um, if I go into Macy's and I order a red shirt and I say, do you have it? And I buy it and... They're like, yeah, we have a red shirt. And then they have to go to the back and say, you know what? We don't have that red shirt. I don't like that. If you don't have products in stock, then don't have them online. Um, also, you have, um, when I receive packages, make sure that you don't sign off on it if you haven't checked it, you know? So you're basically telling me, I bought something, you checked the package, and when I got the package, it was wrong from what it says that I got in the package. So who checked this? Um, also, I believe they only have one checker. Um, the company is out of Chicago, HairSisters.com, also affiliated with ClaireHair.com, and I, and I know that company over there is janky. They're out of Chicago, they're idiots, and therefore I'm not buying from them anymore. Um, for me to take time out of my day to call you, and then you have a phone number that you don't email us back. You have to call them to really get in touch with somebody. On top of that, I don't know when you take lunch. One, two, three, four, five, or maybe you're just always on lunch. But to get through them, you just have to call 18 times in a row before somebody picks up. And I know that they have caller ID. Like, who doesn't have caller ID nowadays? So you're basically just sitting there watching me call. That makes me mad. So I'm complete with Hair Sisters. This isn't a rant video. This is just, if you're out there on YouTube, you're stumbling across this um video or if you follow me or if you order from hairsisters.com um don't plain and simple on another note um now i'm sol where am i going to get my hair extensions from where am i going to get my beauty products from where do i trust to give my money that i'm not gonna have another situation like hair sisters i need a new hair boyfriend with maybe better products. I don't mind. If you're going to have better customer service, then I don't mind spending a little bit of extra money. I don't. But treat me like a customer. Treat me like you care. Um, treat me like you're supposed to. And FYI, Hair Sisters, because I know that you guys do watch videos on YouTube, I suggest that you um, look into consumer laws and really follow up on some of the rules and regulations that you're supposed to be following as a company because somebody is not going to be as nice as me and plan a hostile takeover of your company and then cancel it at the last minute saying, you know, I'm a nice person. I don't really need to take you down. Somebody's going to be head smart like I am and really, really, you know, push your stuff in. I won't say bad words. Okay. Moving right along. After doing a lot of research online, I wanted to find another hair. Um, I wanted to find another hair sisters internet company. Um, I don't care where they're from. Um, hair extensions, wigs, weaves, half weaves, um, half wigs, black um, hair products. I don't have a really really quality beauty supply store by me. I live in Southern California, but I don't live in Compton. Like. I don't. I live like inland. I'm not close to the hood at all. So getting products that I'm used to using um, where I can get it like easily, um, being back east, mm -mm, not very good. I had to hunt down a tub of olive oil relaxer, like hunt it down. And, and surprisingly, I got it from Sally's, which is different. The, the Sally's by me doesn't carry the products that I'm used to seeing. So it's very frustrating. Um, I saw Muffin Is My Lovers do a review, everybody knows April, do a review on um, her buying from samsbeauty.com. So I decided to do that. I spent $125. They emailed me and asked me to verify my address to make sure that somebody wasn't using my credit card. How nice of them. Um, I got a giant box and I believe I got five or six wigs, a couple of brushes. Um, I don't think I got any spray or anything like that. I don't think I got any hair products. Um, I wish their hair product section was a little less high end and a little bit more ghetto. 
okay? If I can say, if that makes sense. Um, everybody doesn't necessarily go straight for the Mazzani. Um, some of us just like a plain black and sassy, you know, and some Ampro gel. I do. Um, so I like that. But meanwhile, I do want to show you what I got. Um, some of the cult favorites. Um, as far as wig extensions go. Um, and for me, I know, I was a little afraid. I jumped like head first out and was like, you know what, I don't want to rock hair extensions anymore. No more clip-ins, no more sew-ins, no more bonding. I want to, you know, rock this lace front. I want one full unit that's easy for me to go. So I'm going to uh, attempt to do a quick little haul video because I don't want this video to be super long. So this, my loves, is not my hair. It looks very similar to what my hair looks like regularly. Um, it's a beachy wave curl pattern. Very, very soft. I believe this is Futura. Her name is, oh my god, Super Diva. I forgot it that quick. Super Diva by Model Model. She is a lace front. I pulled her back just a little bit and parted my own hair. Um, the wig starts about right here. So I literally have a boop, little bit of my hair out. Very natural hairline, lace from ear to ear going about an inch back. Um, she is long and full, I want to say about 16 to 18 inches, side and back. This is number one, and I'm going to keep doing this, okay? So the next wig is coming up right now. This is Solange by Sensational. She's also a lace front. This one I feel like the uh, cap is a little shallow. I have a little head, so I feel like it, it works for me. Um, I can pull a half wig all the way up. That's how small my head is, um, even with my braids. Um, I don't want to really pull her out, so I'm going to leave her in very, very tight until I'm ready to wear her because right now I'm actually storing her um, for a special occasion. Like a summer when I go on vacation. So this is really cool. I like that, um, again, lace from ear to ear. Um, I do feel like this is about a half inch width of lace. It's not a lot. And this wig is very, very small. If you have a big head, I wouldn't recommend this one. I believe she was $44, $42 on samsbeauty.com. Very, very smooth. I got her on a one. Next wig. All right, this one is a half wig. Her name is Capri. She's a cocktail wig by a Model Model. She has one comb in the front and two small ones in the back and a drawstring as well. You can put heat on her up to 200 degrees. She's not shiny. Also, shout out to Sam's Beauty because I ordered her in a 1. They called and said they only had her in a 1B um, before my product was shipped out. So, shout out to them. It is nice and long. I do like her from the side. She has curly layers. Um, and I threw on a headband because with straight wigs, I like to throw on a headband. And ladies, take a look at my hairline. You see how it's all blended out? I didn't have to wear a headband with this if you, if you don't if you don't want to. However, I'm tired of um, you getting on YouTube not blending your head. That's not cute. Mm -mm. If you ain't got no relax up front, don't get no straight weave. Get a curly one. I'm just saying. Next wig. You know who this is. This is Super Mingo, also cocktail wig by Model Model. She too is nice and long. See the front? And she has a little bit of wear and tear on her because I do like her a lot. Again, nice and beachy. A little, um, also half wig. So um, comb in the front, two combs in the back with the drawstring. You can also use, um, wear this one as a ponytail. As, as well as Capri, the one that's before this. Next week. Okay, guys, this is the last one. Her name is Monica, and she's by Ultra Quick Weave. I went back and forth on her. She's really curly. She's about 16 inches. Um, you could, yeah, about 16 inches if you let her fall. Um, I went back and forth because she's not that cute in the picture. Hmm, mm -mm. But she is nice and full and curly and um, bouncy when you get her. Um, what I use to maintain them, and you know I love you. I'm not curl I'm not pulling finger combing this one out. A lot of them are going back into. I have a uh, one of those under the bed cases, and I just keep them all in there so way nobody goes underneath my bed. So nobody's gonna know. Oh, you wear wigs? What is this in a drawer? Um, no, it's underneath the bed. Of course, the Remy by uh, Bobo's. Nice where you see I'm almost out of this. 
um, control wig spray that is by African Pride. Let me double check this. Who's this by? Who's this by? Who's this by? Okay. Hmm. I believe it's by African Pride. But it looks like this. It comes in a white bottle. This one says wig control spray. It's a three-in-one formula for human and synthetic hair. For wigs, falls, hair pieces, and braids. This is why I'm not messing with hair sisters anymore because this clearly says wig spray. And they keep sending me braid spray. Like, why am I going to put that on my hair? No. Um, but they keep sending me a bottle. It's, it's white like this and says braid spray, but it's supposed to be green and clear like this. Um, idiots. Um, this one is by African Essence. And this is my... This is the bomb. It is um, a weave spray six in one. I got this for the first time in Florida when I was living there out of some random beauty supply store. Couldn't find it anywhere else. And now the only place where I can really find these is hairsisters.com. So I literally have like 18 bottles underneath of my sink because I'm not effing with them no more. Crazy people. Six in one reef spray conditions, moisturize, detangles. It's a very really good detangler. Um, adds sheens, holds the bond. I'm guessing if you use it over um, wigs and anti itch, which I never have a problem with because I don't sleep in my wigs. Don't do that either. Um, it is fabulous. You just spray a little bit onto the hair. I use one of those big rake combs, the big one, like the detangling ones. Comb through my curls. Comb the wig out. If it gets too, like, matted under here, either you had it on too long, you need to throw it away, or you're not combing it out. You know, I treat my wigs just like it's, you know, a weave. And my weaves is the bomb. Like, you wouldn't know. If you guys have any questions, I am going to, um, put the Sam's Beauty information down under here. I'm also going to give you a list of the wigs that I did in the order of what you saw them in. Um, I was about to say synced. Ghetto. Um, any questions, you can go ahead and comment below. Make sure you subscribe. I have a lot of people watching videos, but you're not subscribing. So please subscribe. Please, 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 please. please. And then, be, you know what? I want people to subscribe so I can do contests. I have a lot of stuff I would love to give away, but if people aren't subscribing, um, I'm going to keep giving it to the same 30 people that are watching my videos. Anyways, um, and if you have any questions, you can um, email me. The email address is beautyvixen at gmail.com. Um, make sure you're also following me on Twitter, beautyvixen. That's the name on Twitter. And also follow the updates on my um, YouTube page. Alright guys, let me know what you think. Um, comment, let me know. Let me know what you're thinking of my hair. And this is my favorite headband. My favorite one's all blinged out. I'm about to shoot the next video. I'm cranking these bad boys out today. Thanks for watching.